Hello everyone, I'm Leon Bazden, 3D artist and motion designer. Today I want to show you one way of making the most of your, out of your Apple computers, mainly the ones with the M1 chips. So let's take a look. Over the recent years, I've seen a lot of 3D designers transfer over to Windows and they haven't been having the best of time dealing with that transition. I'll show you today how you can use even the base model Mac to work with complex projects without the need to ever having to learn the ins and outs of Windows. For this video, I'll show you how to install Cinema 4D and Redshift and how to set up, set up Team Render to have a mini render farm with your gaming PC or whatever you use for your recreation. As always, please be sure to like and subscribe. I'll be uploading a lot more content around hardware for 3D motion design, including the new Macs, so you don't want to miss those. So moving along, here are some prerequisites you'll need to have. A recent Mac computer with an M1 chip preferably, or any metal GPU that fits Redshift's requirements. Mac OS Big Sur 11.3 and above. A My Maxon account with two Redshift subscription licenses and one Cinema 4D license. Microsoft Remote Desktop. And a Spare PC with NVIDIA GPUs. All right, so let's get into it. As you can see, I'm using a base model MacBook Air with 16 gigabytes of RAM and two 56 gigabytes of SSD storage. All right, so what you want to do is head over to maxon.net and download the Maxon app. Currently, I'm just using the trial version since this is a new installation to make everything beginner friendly. Okay, so once that's finished installing, you want to log in with your username and password. Also, if you installed the Adobe Suite beforehand, it would say update, but if you haven't, it would just say install. All right, once this is finished, we want to uncheck launch Maxon Cinema 4D because you want to install Redshift right after. So let's install Redshift. All right, now that's installed, let's go over and install Microsoft Remote Desktop. This program is not hard to find since it's in the App Store and it's free. So just head over there, put in the name and download. few things you will need to know ahead of time is the login for your PC and also the IP address. For the IP address, I'm going to show you later on how, how and where you can find it. Alright, so once you have that set up, now you can just enter your Windows username and the password and you should be ready to go. Also, you can just check allow trust allow the certificate so you don't have to do this again a, baz a bazillion times all right so now we're over at windows i'll show you how to get the network settings over on windows so you go to the network click on that little icon there click on the ethernet and you scroll down and right down here you should see your ip address and that's how you get to your ip address on windows All right, so installing the Maxon app on Windows is practically the same way you would do it on 
on the Mac version. So just click next to everything, agree and install. All right, now that's all done and we finished installing all our programs. Let's set it up. All right, so now let's open the team render client. All right, so once that's open up, let's make sure everything is set up. Make sure share machine over network is on. Then let's set to properties. And from there, let's go check out the render. Uh, on my computer here, you can see I have two 2080 TIs and two 1080 TIs. This is my render node, not my main machine. So on the team render section, you can have your computer name, your security token, and the port. You can configure these to whichever you like. I usually have it really simple so I can remember it. All right, now we are back on the Mac, MacBook Air. So let's open up Cinema 4D R25. From here, let's go to preferences. We, we wanna go to the renderer, team renderer, and you can also do the same thing over here. Have a pretty, if you wanna use this as a render node itself also. So I'll send this all good. Let's head over to render team machines. And we can, as you can see, we have our render, our render node already hooked up. Just in case it doesn't show up, uh, you can also just go to machine, add machine, and you can add the IP address and the port number that you set in order to get to add it there if it doesn't show up, but usually it shows up. So, so once that's Correct, you can put in your security token. I just do a simple security token and that's it, it shows up. All right, so now just load up one of your project files. Here I load up one of the project files I had before, one of the older scenes I had, and let's just run some test renders. All right, so you wanna to go to the render menu, then go to team render the printer view, okay. Okay, I'm glad that happened. So what happened just now was um, when you don't have the assets, you cannot render to the team team um, team render. So what you need to do is go to the Redshift Asset Manager, and you can just clear out the assets that that are not connected. Since this is a new computer, I don't have my plugins or my assets connected. So you need to go in here and you clear the files. Okay, so. Right, let's try that again. Everything is set up. Everything is running. And let's skip back over to our Mac side. All right, let's see how it goes. Okay, it's loading, rendering. Once it gets started, it's, once it transfers the assets and it gets started, it's pretty much faster after. All right. There it goes. So as you can see, we have four GPUs and it's moving along pretty well. We could, we will compare it to the M1 chip after. Okay, so we have one minute and 58 seconds. So let's see how the M1 chip by itself does. And I'll just cut this short so we don't stay here for the whole time. But as you see, it's moving pretty quickly for like a single chip compared to like a quad GPU setup. I think it has decent promise. Okay, so we have six minutes and four seconds, which is pretty decent, I would say. Even though it's not textured or anything, I mean, for 
look dev stuff i think is pretty decent for a macbook air this is not even the macbook pro with the fan this is just a macbook air so you have some thermal throttling going on so let's do this setup where we have the m1 and the quad gpu setup going on at the same time you can do that but um obviously you'll be held back by the slower gpu which is the m1 in this case so yeah let's see how much seconds that shaves off of the whole thing okay let's see the final result okay so a whole nine seconds we shaved off by adding the m1 chip <laughs> okay yeah so that's why we're using team render so the m1 chip is really good for look dev stuff do not use it thinking like it's gonna save the world it's not replacing any of the nvidia cards but it is a good starter compared for a good price for like i paid probably a thousand dollars for this macbook air and the performance is really great I, I love the battery life i love the portability and i have all the render engines i'm using so yeah so as you can see 3d rendering is possible on the mac in a small way but it's going to get better especially with the new macbooks that's about to come out i'm going to get one of those it would definitely be the high spec version so be sure to like and subscribe for, for that and some of these tricks with team team viewer i definitely know it won't work on octane because they plan on introducing this in the new version 2022 but it should work on arnold and cycles i haven't tested it out but it should work all right guys hope you enjoyed see you guys on the next one